Welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to study bacterial motility testing or motility test. So when we report colony characteristics of uh, pure culture, uh, after reporting colony characteristics, we also report Gram's nature of your culture and motility, right? So motility is also done in microscopic examination and also it is included in biochemical testing. So in biochemical testing, we use soft agar, okay, and the assay can be done both ways using a plate or tube, okay, a plate assay or a tube assay. And case, in case of microscopic examination, we perform hanging drop method or a wet mount method. So that is what we are going to start slide. Okay, so now let's start with the motility test. So what is that? So this test refers to a biochemical test or microscopic examination of a given microbial culture where we check cellular movement okay whether the cell is able to move okay there is locomotion or not it also helps to differentiate two major groups of bacteria namely motile and non-motile based on their cellular movement now still you will find that all organisms they tend to show a certain kind of movement in search of food against chemical stresses okay for which locomotion is a common phenomenon now this is example uh, you can write that uh, when there is a chemical signaling present or there is a chemical uh, stimulus present bacteria they move towards that particular signal okay this is actually chemotaxis which also comes uh, or which is related to this topic that is motility and flagella you will also study that in theory so uh, if there is a chemical signal present in the environment near the bacteria which has flagella which is motile then it will move towards that chemical signal or it will move away from that chemical signal depending on what type of chemical signal it is okay so that is chemotaxis now what is the purpose of this motility test now the first purpose is we check whether the cell is motile or not okay then second to differentiate between two major groups of bacteria that is motile and non-motile the one which has flagella obviously they are motile but also there are some uh, examples of bacteria you will find which don't have a single flagella but still they show a kind of motility for example gliding twitching or swarming okay and non motile are one which don't show any kind of movement okay then the third purpose is motility test it is actually a or it serves as a valuable tool to determine an organism's ability to locomote within the fluid or semi solid media okay right that is why we are using it for testing and for differentiating whether the bacteria is motile or not now about the principle now this test it depends upon organisms tendency to move either in liquid or semi solid media right that is what we are testing here in liquid means when we suspend the culture in saline solution and we do wet mount or hanging drop method that is we check whether the organism is able to move in a liquid and semi-solid agar is what we are talking here is a biochemical test uh, like tube assay or a plate assay okay now eukaryotes um, they locomote through flagella very important because you will get this question in viva so you eukaryotes they locomote through flagella cilia pseudopodia and prokaryotes they locomote through propeller like flagella and sometimes glide through their protein fibrils okay now this is the difference if you get a question like uh, what is difference between cilia or pili and flagella then you should be able to answer that eukaryotes in case of eukaryotes locomotion is seen through flagella and cilia in case of prokaryotes it is through flagella only okay predominantly through flagella now bacteria they also show chemotaxis that that is what i was talking in previous slide so chemotaxis is the property uh, uh, by surrounding uh, they show chemotaxis property by surrounding themselves near a chemical compound like sugar or amino acid okay 
now this is the one uh, which serves as food right nutrients for them and to which the microbes they respond okay and they move towards this kind of signaling that is chemotaxis now for the movement for going towards that nutrient or their food source they need to go from one point to their uh, food okay and that is where they use flagella for movement right then motility test makes the use of TTC media that is triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride media which is oxidized form which in oxidized form it is colorless okay and when bacteria which is motile it grows in this media it absorbs the dye causing a reduction in the medium okay and in the reduced form this uh, dye which is present in the triphenyl uh, tetrazoleum chloride it gets reduced and it indicates that the bacteria is motile as the media color changes to red okay and the red colored complex is known as formazone now an organism's motility is detected by the immense red color formation around the line of inoculation okay now when you inoculate there is also uh, the inoculum through that uh, line of inoculation that is also going to grow and that will also show a red color but it is not motile because the growth is seen only in the line of inoculation inoculation okay and the bacteria has not moved from that line of inoculation that means it is non motile okay you will see that in next slide so the test media that is used is TTC triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride which has these ingredients that is beef extract pancreatic digest of casein sodium chloride agar and water okay so we use this media and for motility testing there are some other uh, media available that can be used like multi test media MIL motility indole lysine then uh, motility indole ornithin SIM is sulfide indole motility test and mannitol motility media okay so these are different uh, test media that can be used for testing motility now let's start with the tube assay okay so for tube assay as we have seen we need the TTC media so first step is media preparation where you will prepare media according to the SOP and as directed on the media bottle and then you autoclave it and then pour 5 ml of TTC media into each test tube and allow it to solidify okay then you need to do a septic transfer of your bacterial inoculation you need to do bacterial inoculation right so take a sterile inoculating loop and select a well isolated colony of the test organism pick it up with the help of a stabbing needle okay or inoculating loop whatever is available and then stab straight into the media we are not going to strike here okay or we are not going to mix in the uh, soft agar what we are going to do we are going to just stab inoculate that means just put the needle inside media once and twice and then straight into the media and then you have to remove it okay that is stab inoculation then you need to inoculate Oh, sorry incubate the culture allow the culture tubes to incubate at 35 to 37 degrees celsius for around 24 to 48 hours mostly within 24 hours you get result but if the culture is slow growing then you need to inoculate for 48 hours then after in incubation you need to observe the tube for diffusion of red color zone around the line of inoculation okay and if you get a diffused growth that means there is a color change uh, then the test is positive for motility and if there is no growth around the line of inoculation then the test is negative for your culture now the accuracy of this test it depends upon the insertion of your inoculating needle it should be straight okay and you should be sure that you have picked a sufficient amount of inoculum and that is the bacterial transfer is done uh, properly that means the inoculum is good enough to grow then and take out along the same line that means when you are inserting the needle in the TTC media along that same line 
you should remove it okay that is good inoculation stab inoculation okay and then taken out along the same line of inoculation to avoid false positive growth okay that means you are not doing stab inoculation uh, five to seven times just one to two times through a same line of inoculation that is sufficient then this is how you do uh, aseptically you transfer your culture to the sterile media okay just once and twice that is sufficient then you incubate and after incubation this is an inoculated tube this is the negative tube that means you will see growth in just the line of inoculation okay there is no diffusion of the bacterial growth and there is no red color seen in case of positive tube you will see the media has changed its color so this is the actual picture you will see whole tube has turned red that means the uh, the organism is motile in case of second tube you will see the growth is just in the line of inoculation okay that means this is negative and in third tube also you will see that there is some amount of uh, red color that is red color is diffused other than the line of inoculation you can observe the red color that means this is also positive then next is slide test now we are moving moving towards microscopic examinations where the first method is hanging drop method and second method is wet mount so in case of hanging drop method we need a depression slide this is known as depression slide which has a concave like depression okay so you need a uh, clean microscopic depression slide then you spread vaseline petroleum jelly towards the vicinity of the depression wall that means towards the edge or the outer surface of the depression wall you will apply petroleum jelly with the help of a toothpick or a stick okay you can see here the petroleum jelly is applied okay after that take a clean dust free cover slip and add a loop full of bacterial suspension toward the center of the cover slip okay a drop of bacterial suspension is to be uh, taken and you should apply it on the cover slip at the center okay after that what you have to do you have to place the cavity region you after that place the cavity region of the glass slide facing the bacterial suspension on the cover slip okay so you will invert your glass slide and you will uh, apply it on the cover slip you have to put it on the cover slip such as the depression or the cavity of your slide is on that bacterial suspension drop of bacterial suspension then again you invert your glass slide and gently press the cover slip so that it will not uh, move while observing under microscope and then finally observe your glass slide under microscope okay so in case of uh, microscopic examination first you have to adjust your drop edge of your drop to 10x and then observe under 40x okay that is the proper way for observing motility so after hanging drop second method is wet mount method where we just need a plain clean glass slide okay here we don't need a depression uh, glass slide so take a clean dust free microscopic glass slide then add a drop of saline that is just uh, distilled water and nsl solution okay that is the saline you need a drop of saline in the middle of center uh, middle of slide then inoculate the test organism take a loop full uh, take your um, sterile loop pick the isolated well isolated colony a little bit of your colony and you mix it properly to that drop of saline okay now you cover it with now you, this is the bacterial suspension this was just saline because there is no bacterial culture once you inoculate and mix your bacterial culture this will be your bacterial suspension okay so now place a cover slip to one end of the glass slide and slowly keep it over your test sample with the help of needle okay why you do why you need this slowly you need to touch one edge of your cover slip to the uh, glass slide where your 
uh, wet mount the bacterial suspension is there using a needle slowly you need to place the cover slip on your uh, bacterial suspension why because this helps to avoid air bubbles okay now gently press the cover slip to remove excess of moisture or water bubbles if present and use a blotting paper to remove the excess water which comes out of your cover slip okay and at last you need to observe your glass slide under microscope to check the bacterial motility again adjust at 10x and then change the I, uh, the objective for 40x okay so this is how you perform tube assay using soft agar and in case of microscopic examination i have shown two methods that is hanging drop and wet mark so i hope this video is helpful to you all do give a thumbs up do like my videos do share this with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch another video that will be uploaded regarding uh, viva questions on this topic that is bacterial motility so that is also available on my channel so do check it out